The law firm in this San Diego office building being pulled into a political firestorm. At issue, the Trump campaign is claiming that the law firm appointed by Judge Curiel had paid big money to both Hillary and Bill Clinton for speeches, contributing to the campaign's opinion that Trump cannot be given a fair trial. The Clintons did receive payment from the law firm. According to the Clintons' financial disclosure forms, $675,000 over a five-year period. Former President Bill Clinton giving two speeches September 2009 and September of 2013, and Hillary Clinton spoke in September of 2014, before she was a presidential candidate. Each of the three speeches amounting to $225,000 a pop. But the law firm was not handpicked by the judge. According to court documents, way back in September of 2012, it was the first plaintiff who filed a motion to have the law firm considered as counsel. And that was before a different judge, not Judge Curiel. It wasn't until February of 2014 when Judge Curiel approved the motion and signed this order formally appointing the law firm. Judge Curiel said then that the court is satisfied that the plaintiff's counsel met the criteria. That approval made more than a year before Donald Trump even declared his candidacy for president. And not without merit. Legal experts tell CNN the choice makes sense. This is a firm that has experience handling class action lawsuits. It's a very narrow area of the law. And that it is not unusual for big law firms to fork over sizable sums to hear from politicians. Big law firms spend a lot of money on professional development, and that includes hiring speakers. So it's not outside the realm of possibility that they would hire politicians and other notable figures to come speak to them and pay some exorbitant fees. The Trump campaign and its surrogates continue to hold this up as another layer in their argument that the judge is biased against Trump. This judge came in and appointed two law firms, two uh, high profile law firms. One, a Hillary Clinton supporter had given hundreds of thousands of dollars to Clinton and her husband. Former Attorney General Alberto Gonzalez today saying there are legitimate questions raised by the judge's selection of the firm. These are the kinds of questions that should be asked in connection with, in a connection with any case. Uh, that is, whether or not does the judge have the kind of relationships or are there circumstances that exist that would call into question the, 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 the impartiality of the judge. Sunlin Servati, CNN, Washington.